Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Tales of Majael with the Sun Paladin on Insane, and we are in the Ruins of Corpool for a rematch with this level 18 large white snake. He is a Saw Butcher slash um, Cursed. I want to get the first attack on him, so we'll do that. And somehow we got the Counter-Strike debuff. We'll take it off just so we make sure that he doesn't get us. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Crusade. Why not? Uh, where do we want to put Crusade? It's an energy gain, so we can put it in the place of Wave of Power. And if we need Wave of Power, it'll be a range situation, so we can just click on it. Uh, later on, we might actually move it down, just not yet. Um, so V, B, U. You go up here. You know what? Let's, uh, we'll put Sunray in um, Alt-2. Because uh, it's not, I'm not gonna. I normally leave this for like helpful things or runes or something, but sometimes I put dispel magic there, so or disperse magic. I don't know why I'm being careful. This guy's obviously not gonna kill me. We're in Corpool. Now, watch, now that I say that, I am gonna die. Let me use Flash of the Blade. Holy cow, we would have gotten our we would have gotten destroyed if we had come down here. Look at all these a doom. We are leaving. We will restart this fight here in a second. What was the cloak? Did we actually did we not pick it up? The cloak that came out of that uh Digestive sack. Maybe it wasn't a cloak. Alright, who's the bastard that's killing us? It's probably the Oni Lug. Come on down. Sonic Shield, Providence, let's kill him if we can. All right, we got a level. We actually got a level in Corpool at level 23. That's hilarious. We need one more level, then I can turn off Shield of Light, and uh, then we can use uh, Flash of the Blade. We get a level or a life. Yes, we did. So we're back up to one life. Um, writ large, I want to get this up as high as possible because uh, writ large instantly removes runic and infusion saturations. That really doesn't matter except for the final boss for four to or four turns up to ten turns. Your inscriptions cool down twice as fast at level five. Your command over inscriptions is so good that you can use one more, but you still need to unlock it with a category point. That used to just give you the extra inscription, but that just made them straight up better than Cornax, which Cornax used to only give you an extra category point. That's all they gave you. So what do we do is over here? We've unlocked these two, but we need to start unlocking. We need to start actually putting damage into them. This gives us 70-ish points, 75 points of extra health. But no, let's get another one in Mark of the Mark of Light. Damn it! There's got to be one of these that we can get rid of. Not Second Life, because obviously that helps. Weapon of Wrath is 138 extra damage per attack, especially with how much I get chunked. That's useful. Um, Weapon of Light, extra 13 damage. Yeah, we can get rid of that. And Shield of Light. Infuse your shield, healing you for four, but at the expense of two positive energy. That's not worth it. So we'll take that off. The extra shield attack is why I like that, but that's going to have to wait. You know what? Let's switch this over here. I feel like wave of power is more useful. Yeah. 
I just use Flash of the Blade. Now let's uh, let's test this just to be sure. Flash of the Blade should still hit him. Did I miss him? No, I damn it. I was hoping that was not a thing, but it looks like I am gonna. It's annoying. Um, looks like I I do need someone within range one for it to actually hit in range two. Well, that one seemed to work. Why didn't the other one work? Whatever. Okay, it works now. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe he was actually more than two radius away. I don't remember. Uh, we probably want to get Flash of the Blade up to um, level five as quick as possible, just for that um, turn of no damage, one turn of ha taking no damage. That way we can use it as a defensive tool if we've got like a regeneration going and we just need a turn for it to catch up. All right, now let's go back to, not very, uh, I was not very uh, encouraged by how crappily we did in core pool, but let's go back to the old forest and actually kill that guy. The ant. Or was it a snake? <laughs> what is it with, what is it with, uh, God, what are they called? Uh, berserkers that are giving me such a hard time this run. All right, let's go ahead and mark of light him first, then absorption strike. We'll turn on our healing as well. Should have turned on Providence is what I should have done. Son of a bitch. What did he do that hurt me so damn much? 391 shattering shout, really? It's like the max amount of damage it can do too. Let's try this again. Let's uh let's pre barrier. Get a crit, come on. Oh, I know you're gonna work, come on. We actually lost crit chance for some reason. We need to get one more level. Probably want to go Arcane Might first. Probably just do Arcane Might and uh, I can carry the world. I can't think of any, I mean, Flex, sure, but that's not, that's not something that I like to take all the time, unless I'm obviously a multi-hitting class. This guy does have multi-hitting abilities, but I don't know. All right, we've got the barrier on, so we'll hold off on the psionic shield for now. Let's, uh... What do I want to do? Let's absorption strike, or no, let's, uh... Let's brandish first, right? Or wave of power first. No, let's, uh, do that first. Then providence. Hit him hard, all right, that took him down 50%. Wave of power, absorption strike. Now we'll do psionic shield. And as soon as we dip below 600 life, we'll turn on our regeneration infusion. And writ large to make sure it comes back as quickly as possible. All right, he was a snake that shouldn't have required that much thinking. Oh yeah, this is where we lost our tinker, wasn't it? It's just way to turn. Hit him with assault. Eden from Eden's Guile. She left a note for us. Mocking us. Are we level 25? No. Lead on, I will protect you. Wait here. And no, I will not protect you. If it's me or you, it's definitely going to be you. What the hell? 
Okay, yep, that's right. He is a stupid... How are you meeting, meeting me for, for speed? Matching my speed, I mean. Jesus. That was not good. He, he probably combo kicked me. That was what that was, that's what got me. We're failing because we are mossed. Got Sons of Vengeance. Let's use it. All right, now he's recovering. Let's wave a power him. Hopefully kill him before he gets over here. Heal. Smash. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, man. How much life does he have? 65. I could hit him twice with Lightning Caller or pray that this actually works. The thing is, I don't want to do multiple hits because I think he's got yeah defensive maneuver or something. What's it, What does it do? It, it increases his... Uh, Defense. What's his defense at? 44, and my accuracy is at 40. I think the best move here is to move. All right, now let's mark him and smash. Nope, didn't work because I can't freaking hit him. You know what? We're just going to have to wait for uh, Sunray. Couldn't hit him, and it, uh, monks have something, I think, that lets them counterattack. It's one of their crappy trees that you never really unlock, because it's a defensive tree. Jesus. But with my low accuracy, well, not low, just average. I just, every time I tried to hit him, he would smack me back, basically. Well, you were there, you know. Let's turn off our two shield and weapon of lights. Let's get Wrath Rune over here. Not close enough. Whatever, we can still hit you. All right, now while you walk over here and that stops working. We, he, I, he was easy. I, I probably didn't need to be that careful but Jesus like have you guys been watching I apparently do need to be that careful <sighs> let's keep running because everybody's after me Jesus I had a shield and I healed what is he hitting me with 336 what did he use? Oh, to the arms. Okay. It's not even the Ran boss. <laughs> oh my god. It's writ large. Way to turn. I don't know if he's a doomed, so we're gonna have to come to him. Far enough away that we'll have an extra turn for our healing to take effect. Let's wave of power the guy in the back. He's a little bit more worrisome. I mean, this guy's no, this friggin' ant's no slouch either, but. What is it? It's defense again, isn't it? Yeah, he's got even more defense than the friggin' other guy. Yeah, be afraid. Gonna run away. Providence, heal, shield, bathe in light. Miss, miss. Actually, you know what? I think I have an axe with perfect strike. Yes, I do. All right, so let's. I'm hesitant to run up to him, but I also don't want to get beaten up before I get there. Let's just pray that Perfect Strike actually works. And no, it didn't. Let's 
Where's our disengage? That's right, it's on cooldown because we just used perfect strike. Do we still have perfect strike? We do. He's got 52 defense. We've got 60 accuracy. Oh my god. I'm having to think way freaking too much for these fights. Look at that! Two freaking hits! Somehow I leveled. We got killed by the bleeding, probably. I should have checked. No, Blackbinder Sun Paladin hits Blackbinder Sun Paladin for 68 damage. How? Does Stone Wrap actually hurt me? No. Then how did I hit myself? Because that is what hit me. Maybe when it doesn't use a wall or something, it, it tries to spawn it on top of you. I'll, I'll have to check once I get back there. This is fucking bullshit, guys. Never going to get that. Fallen Paladin is what I was pointing at. All right. Fallen Irresistible Sun would be the easiest thing. It would get us the furthest, but it's not the power move. And even three of these isn't nearly enough to kill the final bosses. Like, I've gotten it with uh, Stone Warden before, and you can copy this effect on each of your clones, but it still wasn't enough. So... We can't, we can't even get... Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong thing. This, Arcane Might. Cauterize, it's not going to save me. I've already got Second Life, and it's not saving me, so... Let's just go Arcane Might. You have learned to harness your latent arcane powers, channeling them through your weapon. This has the following effects. Equipped weapons are treated as having an additional 50% magic modifier. Your raw physical power is increased by 100% of your raw spell power. Your physical critical chance is increased by 25% of your bon bonus spell critical chance. So... Yes, that's good. Uh, let's take this stun, and uh, let's go ahead and take Death Dance too. We've got too many actives as it is, but Death Dance can overrule like uh, probably Crusade. Like Crusade's more of a specialized ability if I need to get rid of a debuff or something. All right, let's get ready. Let's get ready to die again. Uh, how do I want to put these? Alright, I'm ready to go back. Somehow I, hurt, I hit myself. We'll see. That lasted a very long time. And look at that. That was how easy it was to kill. All right, let's look at this. Wrap of Stone, where are you? Why does that hurt me? Or did it? I actually don't know. Maybe that was me healing. No, it didn't. Oh, you... I guarantee this was it. Watch. Move. Nope. Figured it wasn't calculating the turns right, and it still thought I was here when I activated it. Well, whatever. Something happened, and I hit myself with the stone wrap. I'm fairly certain it was the stone wrap. The fuck was that? Look at that. What is happening? I did not hit him. Oh, I must have been paranoid, maybe? From one of the fears? But I, I, I hit him after I moved. And like a... <sighs> I was probably just... Uh, fears can make you randomly attack. So I'm guessing that's what it was. Should never have come back to this place. Perfect strike so we can fight while we're blind, but he was already dead. I need to make sure I have my psionic shield on now. 
probably start putting points into uh, dexterity because I'm not going to find any accuracy items, it looks like. Uh, I can put on one more of these. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do Weapon of Light because it doesn't cost any extra. It doesn't cost any extra positive energy other than its sustain cost. Shield of Light is probably a detriment, honestly. Um, I guess it depends. Damp Cave, that's a death trap. Don't go in there on Insane. It's dark and it's usually an open room full of uh, rogues. I think I should probably take this. Yeah, instead of I just I don't want to lose the disengage or no, you know what? I can't lose the accuracy, so never mind. Hundred life with no, no, not worth it. We don't even need to come out here. So what is a good defensive prodigy that we could have taken? I can't think of any. Cauterize, it's not good enough, I don't think. Because then it's just it's going to give us a few more turns, two or three. But if we can't get away already, then that doesn't matter. Giant Leap, I guess we, it's another escape. Subcutaneous metalization might have been it, but we're not stacking uh, constitution, so. Hmm. Uh, conic body, probably. When pushed below 30% life, you instantly restore 40% of your life. The only issue there is if you have a healing reduction on you. It's not going to work very well. All right. Let's go back to Daikara, right? No, we left there for a reason. Let's go kill Urkus. Leave carefully. We are not doing the Dark Crypt. Can barely handle the regular game. <laughs> Lin is invisible. That's a first. I think this is our problem. Our resistances suck. But honestly, I've I haven't found anything with amazing resistances that I haven't kept except for my chest piece and that was only really one resistance or one resistance type. Let's go ahead and use that. We're going to have to go back. I can't fight both of these guys at once. Never mind. All right, let's mark of light, right? Writ large. We need to kill one immediately. But that one's got disruption shield, so if I did, that would just make things worse for me. And I failed. That's end of the game, folks. God dang it. I didn't have a terrible run with equipment either, but um, I'm just going to restart him. Uh, it'll take me 40 minutes, 50 minutes to get back here, so uh, this won't hinder the daily videos at all. So, But that's where we're going to end it for now, so if you see anything you like, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, and hopefully the next run will be a little better. I will, uh, I'll run him up to not, I won't do Tempest Peak, I'll do all the uh, Tier 2s except for Daikara. I'll probably go to Daikara 3 though, before I get started recording again. So, alright, take it easy. I've got uh, some painful Sun Paladin running to do, so take it easy guys.